Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. Uh, the game has just patched so we're in the 1.4 patch now. A uh, free content update uh, which includes some quality of life improvements on things like the tactical view. Uh, where you can view above and below ground. Look at this. Isn't, isn't this something? I didn't even realise that there was like an underground... I guess railroad? That must be a railroad. Anyway, uh, so we've got a bunch of uh, bunch of things going on at the moment. I just wanted to uh, get Meltdown training some militia. It's gonna be a bit expensive, but we may as well get her doing something useful uh, just before the Delta squad makes it across uh, into the uh, uh, well, into the port area over at F13. We are going to be a little bit tired for this, uh, which isn't ideal, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll get it cleared out and then we'll recover after. Okay, looks like we've got a chap up on the right. We might be able to take him out with Flay without uh, Hostiles detected. raising any alarm. So let's... Oh my cloak of shadows. I am on the power. Let's sneak Flay across and look, something over here. Have a look. Yeah, you can definitely see that. So that's going to be. In fact, you know what? Do that now. No one Creeping is any the wiser. Up. Creeping up on some rustlers. I think what I'd like to do now is if we. Huh? I'm like a shadow. If we get everyone in a bit. Super secret shadow. Only I can see. We can set up see me. for the next uh, next ones. Because it did say it had that as a highlighted red zone. Which is going to be Coming where most cover. of the enemies Careful. are. Repositioning for ambush. So if we plan around that... Won't we can why. probably set up for some Overwatch. Holding position. Uh, we could Moving share grenades amongst people. Actually, you've got flashbangs. Let's give you something a bit bigger, Barry. I oh, sorry, Larry has got regular grenades. We can switch that over there. Split the stack. Because if we've got two people who are throwing actual grenades, we could blow through a group quite quickly. Although Tex is probably not the best to be throwing. Uh, Raven. Cancel your Overwatch. Let's do that. So that's things switched over quite nicely. And you've got night vision, which is going to help. So three people with grenades over this side, I think, sets us up quite nicely. Copy. Moving for ambush. The prey will not see me. I am downwind. They will not smell me coming. If I bring Flay in closer. If the wind holds steady, this will work. It must be a grazing hit because of the uh because of the fog. Okay, go for it anyway. Sixty-four is a grazing hit. Took him out. Alert! Man your stations. Okay, I think 
we open with a grenade from Tex. Time for a big kabooey, partner! I'm hit! Okay, they've repositioned. They will not see me. I'm like a shadow. A super secret shadow only I can see. Mm, it feels like that's not going to be a great angle. So, Larry, let's not do that. But we can, however, launch. That's some good shooting, partner. Launch that out. Can reload it. Could potentially do it over the other side, but I don't think that's Yellow. really going to be helpful. Going undercover. We can move it undercover. Overwatch here, and then we can get Raider. Undercover shot possible. To do some shots. With the target being marked, that's going to make it a bit better. That's a. It's definitely a hit. The prey will not see me. Hey man, what's up? Uh, do we have a medic on set? Hortex. I do feel for you. Uh, I think we're gonna just go on Overwatch with you. Not a giant cat. I stalk my prey. So Reaper, can we do anything worthwhile? That was definitely worthwhile. 73 is a grazing shot. Okay, let's let them come. That's definitely long range. <laughs> we ended up shooting the guy in the back. The Navy. Just go ahead and hit the target next time. Okay, honey? Hey, she did. She did very well. For a pistol, that's really good for Tex. Oh no, shotgun from the side. Yes, Ooh, we need to do something about these. Um, Larry, danger close. Is this close enough for danger close? No. A little bit closer would be. But that's not. Still, this is fine. Because we need the grenades. Uh, Tex, we can do the same with you. It is clearing a lot of cover out the way, but that's fine. Like a shooting koi in pond. It looks like you get it. That was elegant. Charlene Higgins. Okay, get the reload. Locked. Can you hit this guy without? Shooting our own. Yes. You interested in movie role? I know good agent. Get the reload. I am the silent reaper. And reaper. It is likely this attack will fail and my cloak of shadows will be removed. Blind fire. Apparently he's not close enough to be lit up by anything. Okay, now we can see him. Very nice, Reaper. We're definitely not going to manage the two point, uh, point blank that uh, the game wanted to give us as a requirement. Damn wind fouled my shot. It is the bane of hunters everywhere. Okay, because that's a rocket guy. Let's Whatever. just move Larry up. Try and crouch down a bit. Read you. Five by five. And 
That's a negative. No clear shot. It's blind fire, but you can still hear it. Yeah, see? Totally fine. I am a bit step away from the vehicle, which might explode if it gets hit with a rocket. There's still going to be a lot of them. Take control of the battlefield! It's a shotgun. Ow. This pain shall pass. Damn. Oh, it's a death scene, partner. Mine. Okay, so we need to get get text looked at. <laughs> That's brilliant. What? I love to see it. Raven here. Okay. These two are definitely problems. Reaper uh, could do grim fate. Easy shot. That's probably enough. And then do some bandaging. Panic, panic. Just what we wanted. Could have shot them a bit first, but we've got other things that we can we can focus on. So you get the bandaging going on Tex. Charlene Higgins. Hmm. He's almost dead. He's weak. But it makes me think. Yellow. If they're almost dead, maybe a flashbang will take him out. That went way too far. Hey man, what's up? Something that we could do with Larry though. Okay, not quite enough. Read you, five by five. We got a view to a kill here. Just go for the torso. He's almost dead. All you need to do is touch him. Raven here. Okay. We know that we've got a heavy trooper over here who is wounded and a bit... Uh, a bit panicky. We could throw a grenade over to clear him out. We could also hide and change positions ready for next turn, but we're going to be loud next turn. So getting somewhere like here. Moving out. And hiding. What? Okay, I think that's not ready. Not that. Hang on, you're supposed to be sneaking. Going undercover. There we go. Much better. Read you five by five. Take positions and get ready. Okay, that's all the panicking they're gonna do. Yeah, we're going to need to move Flay out hey man, of was, uh... the light. Okay, Larry. Grenade on this guy is probably overkill, but it is a really good way of doing damage. Heads up, zombies! <clears throat> oh, I'm in trouble. Ooh, nasty return fire there. Let's do our reload. Read you, five by five. Clear shot on perp. Try and get Raider to finish him off. There we go. Going undercover. And go Careful. and hide. You can't hide because we've already been seen. What? We can get another grenade over here.
Speak now. Uh, Reaper, you're still stabilizing, so you carry on doing that. A simple shot. Nice. Hit him right in the chest. Ready. Okay, that's uh, sort out your back. Uh, your bleeding, and that'll do for this turn. Uh, feel like a new cowboy. Right, Tex is available again. They've still got way too many guys left. Hmm. So we know that there's a guy over there and these two, and I think another one ran off that side. Charlene Higgins. Uh, you can stop bandaging now that your bleeding is Hi. sorted. Huh? This will be so easy, I'm already bored with it. Now this is what I call hunting. Nice. In the torso. Reaper. Uh, Reaper, sort out your own bandaging needs. Read you. Five by five. What? Let's reload, no hide, man. and Let's start moving in. And make myself real small. Hide. You can also hide, I definitely. Repositioning for ambush. Creeping up on some rustlers. And Tex. Quiet now. We'll crawl you forwards for now. You might get eyes on something. Ready. Won't know what hit him. Okay, people are generally in a better place now. Yes, come into my sights. Ooh, very dramatic roll there. Repositioning. I don't think we're going to be Radio hidden for long. Five by five. Rasa, I won't know what hit him. So, Raven, guy that's right next to you. Maximum stealth. We Flate will do you next over here. May only be a grazing hit, but ah no, proper solid one. And I'm so quiet, I can't even hear myself. This guy. Uh, let's use the stick grenade to kind of open up, open up that wall a bit if we can. Careful! Still some desperados around. All oh, right. If everyone, everyone hide. Way, that'd be swell. So we we definitely have some some injuries, but there's still a couple of uh, mobs left. So we're gonna need to sneak a teensy bit see me. until we find where they are and finish them off. Moving in dark. Let's get Tex up and mobile with the rest of them. I am the silent reaper. Plenty of potential for us to loot Keeping stuff. I reckon the last ones will be just right along the front. Quiet now, partner. But we want to stay out the light as much as possible. This is how I approach the key. Really unexpected. I thought we might be able to to see I someone by now. Ninja. Oh, perhaps over here. Yeah, there's a whole section I hadn't really uh, 
examined. Moving undercover. In which case, it'll probably only be a very light troll that's left. Oh, where did you see and who did you see? I reckon it was someone up top. I am down on him. They will not smell me coming. The backheads will not see me. Copy. Moving for ambush. Okay. That's, uh... Moving carefully. I'm like a shadow. A super secret shadow only I can see. There's a guy. The prey will not, they will not know from where the shadow is. Play, we can get you a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Ah, not good. It is the bane of hunters everywhere. We are under attack. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Well, he's surprised. Let's um Let's do the overwatch if here. I, see it, I kill it. That's going to make it easier for Raider to hit in theory. Clear shot on clueless per. Oh, Overwatch failed. Got a chance to do this quietly, man. The disappointment is real. Do we do a grenade out? I think we do. He's definitely not taking cover. I'll say that. Okay, Reaper. Easy shot. They will not. I'd just go for the tor. No, go for the head. It's a good hit. Creeping up on some We're gonna need more. Can we get anyone out of the way? Read you. Or are five they five. all? <sighs> there we go. Right, mobile shot will take us to here quite nicely. Hey, good job, Tex. And that's the last of them. Chalet de la Paix has been secured. So we've got a lot of stuff to have a look at. It is bad. Scrap the shotgun. The shotguns are, are very, very powerful against groups. Like, possibly more so than... Ooh, combat stim, hello. Uh, possibly more powerful than some of the uh, explosives that we've been using. Raider's med is not great. You know what, let's, um, let's give it to Larry, really. Swap that one off and we'll put this in Raider's backpack. Just so we've got a few more options for for dealing with bleeding. Let's go, compadres! Tribal wood art. Hundreds of small pieces of paper. It's like some kind of a uh, wishing tree. Hopes and dreams. Yeah. All right, we'll get the herbs. Let's go. We'll just check the wood pile around the back, and then we'll Do we for head down the way? and clear out the bodies. That we've uh, we've gone through down below. We shall. I think I found something here. Allons-y. Oh, someone's pre-gathered some herbs for us. How handy. Go go go. 
It is decided. You guys go ahead. Okay. I'll catch up. Let's head in and have a look at this uh, set of drawers. On the desk is a letter labelled for Xavier. Well, we saw Xavier just outside. Très bien. Dead body with a handwritten label, Roger Wilcox. Painless Doc Robert. All right. Hey, Doc. Well, it looks like the cavalry's arrived. Come to check up on what's happening here? The name's Painless Doc Robert. Don't let the name fool you. I can be a plenty big pain in the ass when I want to be. It's just not my specialty. <laughs> I've got a pain that needs a little treatment. A little voyage down the lune if you catch my drift. Think you can help me out, Doc? I know the perfect bullet for you, my boy. But sadly, I'm all out of stock. Anyways, what can I do for you, fellas? Um, well, what's happening in the town? I've seen some bodies wrapped up. Oh, you know, the usual drill. Small fishing village where people's attitudes towards personal hygiene range from ambivalent to hostile. And now they're dying. Surprise, surprise. All right. Um... Well, what are you doing here, then? I've been sent to investigate why these poor wretches are dropping faster than the dot-com stock market. I usually work as the coroner at the sanatorium not far from here. That's how I introduced myself, but the fools started calling me the Colonel. Don't mind them. Language barrier. <laughs> they think you are a Colonel? I guess that make you new sheriff in town. God, I hope not. I'm more of a have scalpel will travel kind of guy. Anyway, I stopped correcting them, so now I guess I'm promoted, huh? <laughs> okay, well, what's the cause of all the deaths then? Natural causes not good enough for you? Hmm? Dying is as natural as living. The two of them are inseparable, like two lovers swirling in an endless dance. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, if it's a disease, it's not anyone I'm aware of. No traces of poisoning either. No contamination in the water. Now, you may have noticed that the locals are a little superstitious around here. Just a tad. They're simple-minded country folk. If you saw the shit that I've seen, you'd be superstitious too, man. I, on the other hand, am a man of science. But God, or whoever's in his place, as my witness, I can't find a single scientific explanation for this carnival of death. I wonder if it's just because he hasn't exactly been looking. Uh, can you provide medical aid? Sure, why not? I'm sure your mission is more important than mine. All these dying people can wait while I kiss your boo-boos. Brilliant. I don't mind paying for that. And let's not forget about social distancing. Whatever we've got here is probably very infectious. Okay. Well, we can uh, we can carry on exploring Wait. and looting the village. No signs of violence on that one. Another victim of the plague. Oh no, just someone sleeping on the boat. The mysteries of life locked. Hmm. Not got enough mechanical to pick it. Who's our best? I mean, we Let's could also just try and force it open. There we go. Just an AK, but more precisely, it is more parts Yellow. for us. Certainly. Now, Let's see what we got, some of the team. nearby bodies. Ooh. I am going to take the machete with us. Because there's definitely going to be an advantage to having it. You guys go ahead. I'll carry on up. with the guys out in the street. An MP5. Some more HE rockets. God, I love stocking up on rockets. Let us get this safari moving. Moving out. 
And it looks like a little bit of mechanical savage back. Yeah, we're just going to steal bits from a kiddie's tricycle. Allons-y. That's a no small number of parts either. Whatever. I see something. We got a telephone. There we go. And a cabinet with some Molotovs. We'll put them with the others. Okay. Ah, there's Xavier. Well. Almost everybody is here. We're just missing the hog lady. Yeah. She's probably wandering in the woods somewhere west of here. She does that sometimes. People are dying and no one knows why. Well, except for Roger Wilcox. But he's dead now. He will never finish his book. Alright, let's have a chat with Wanda instead. I am busy. Don't you have eyes to see? Ah, come back tomorrow. And if you see the hog lady, tell her she's late. We are starting without her. Right, so yeah, some people we we're only going to be able to talk to in the morning. We stop for snacks on the way. Well, while the rest of them are doing that, let's uh, carry on. Ooh. Some fancy Kevlar leggings. These are going to be better than the flax. So we'll swap them over. This is trash and should be burned. Yeah, it'll, it'll get repaired. Don't worry. It's just because you've been shot a lot. We are going to have to Breaking do some here. repairs, though. That's, Let's go. that's for certain. Moving. Okay, we're going to need to break down the door. So. We'll comply. Let's get people out of the way. Read you. Five by five. And let Raider in to have a go. Mm, gas mask. Not Yellow. massively impressed with gas masks. Got some more flak leggings. We'll get rid of those. Let us see what supplies fate has sent. Tear gas, on us. the other hand, could be interesting. Let's give that to Reaper. We go there, partner. Team redeploying. Speak now. And another combat stim. All right, let's quickly go through and check our grenade levels. You've got six. You've still got one left. Let's split these. Because you're not likely to throw many, whereas Larry's likely to throw loads. We can give Larry the Molotovs as well in his hand. Texas still got two. That's fine. Yeah. A shell. Order received. And that pretty much Gen brings four. us full out. circle. We're on the move. We'll just check, make sure that there's no one specific to talk to over here. We shall. And I'm pretty certain we need to this, but I'll just medicinal. double check. Oh no, that is the letter for Xavier. Right. Dearest Xavier, I don't feel safe here anymore. They suspect I know too much with all my findings, my notes, and even the feverish poetry and prose I was moved to write as I listened to the discordant chanting that seemed to resound through my mind day and night. All this is preserved in my diary. In case something happens to me, please take it and make sure to expose them to the authorities of this country. I don't trust anyone but you, so I hid the diary and left you several clues around the village, which will help you find it. Look for them in the places where we talked and laughed in happier times. Okay, back to Xavier. Can we stop for snacks on the way? Because now we have this letter. We're going to be in an ideal place to say hello. Oh, actually, I wanted to double check the table. Three sets of eyes are looking there. Do we... Ooh. We could follow the clues ourselves, I assume. Well, let's still talk to Xavier first. Whoa. Oh, Roger. I thought he was being overly dramatic. Now it's too late. About these places he mentioned, 
We mostly hung out here at the docks and at the bar and back at his place, I guess. You can keep the letter. It doesn't help me with any grief. Okay, three sets of eyes. What would represent three sets of eyes? Let us get this safari movie. It is decided. Not seeing anything there. I am seeing a lot of these totems here. Maybe certainly fishing hook eyes, or moving out the three villagers round here. We go there, partner. Ah, this way. Just in here. All right, let's have a look. The diary is not in the village. Follow the setting sun. Okay. I guess that means we're heading out of town. Well, that is going to have to be another time because we need to sort out some hospital treatment. It's worth getting everyone done because this is going to be relatively quick for them to heal up. We don't have anyone with a high enough mechanical skill to do any repairing. So then the question is just do we do more explosive training? And I think it's probably worth it. So that will keep them busy for a little bit of time. Okay, back over this side. Our team is uh, making their way back to town. Len is almost at the museum. Oh, that hit the spot. So let's head in with him and just drop off the treasures. Place does look a little bit better than it did, but not much. Heading out. I am sorry that I was so naive as to. Uh, we brought treasures. Oh, nice. Uh, here's a golden dog. Did you know that in ancient times? The dog was the symbol of wealth in this region. That's really strange. Uh, also got an idol. It is beautiful. In its own way. And got a mask. Oh, a ritual mask. It is a miracle that some of these are still preserved to this day. And a tablet. A tablet with an ancient form of writing. Why? These hieroglyphs must date back to at least 2000 BCE. Can you imagine what my ancestors' lives must have been like back then? Uh, here's another tablet. A tablet with an ancient form of writing. Cool. Uh, we want to dispatch some militia. Great. Where do you... Ooh. You know what? We can do it. We can do it ourselves. When we've got specific, uh, specific squads that we need to reinforce, we'll uh, we'll do Find that. my father before. But certainly, buying the loyalty with the items has definitely worked in our favour. There's plenty of things on the ground here. So what I'm thinking we could do is drop these off, and then this is going to be where. Uh, where people are going to come to. And grab them afterwards. Uh, drop that. And drop both of those. So Len can go back and gather new things. Whereas Alpha Squad can... 
uh, where are you actually heading to? You're heading back to K9. Stop here on the way through. Of course. And in the meantime, Charlie Squad, we can head to uh, Squads and Operations Notes, Buildings, Items. There we go. Head to perhaps gather some of these things up. A uh, lens we don't care about. Probably worth us grabbing... Grabbing these things. But there's not a huge amount. What was left up here? Ooh. Yeah, that's a, that's a good selection of weapons and things. Hmm. Bits and bobs, bits and bobs. Let's get Len to go and just secure these two bits of territory. Maybe grab some things on the way through. So yeah, for where you're going... None of these are worth caring about. This is probably the only bit that is. Yes, sir. So we'll set you traveling over there. And potentially we'll end up needing to take back G10 as they move around. And that's probably actually going to be where we need to send the uh, the alpha team all things considered with that weapon in fact the weapon shipments moving down this way so that's fine I'm not gonna worry about that on route to destination okay sector stash so we have a whole bunch of things hey look all this has been improved with filters as well so we'll take all of these and the two extra rockets. Love it. Uh, ooh. Increases health. Who could do with this? Probably Fox, actually. Fox or Reckless? Let's give it to Reckless. Just got better. And then improving strength. I'd say leaning into blood is the right option on that. Getting better all the time. The remote detonator isn't going to help us. Oh, actually, we can we can combine with the C4. There we go. That gives us another remote C4, which goes with Kalina. And then the two gold bars, we may as well just cash in. sorted uh, we still want to head back to K9 that's where we've got the stuff coming in and then we'll be able to rest up there so most people are going to need medical attention treat wounds uh, let's get Fox and blood doing it And then we can do some repairs. Yeah, loads of stuff is going to need repairing. Let's start with the big one. Definitely the lockpick. That'll do for the moment. And there's not much else we can we can do. So we'll leave everyone uh, everyone working on that. That's going to be it for this episode, I'm afraid. We are unfortunately out of time. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Jagged Alliance 3.
See you soon.